Eight years ago, Paulette Wanson was diagnosed with diabetes that eventually led to chronic kidney disease, and she admits she had trouble accepting it. Not me. I can't believe it's me that's happening. You know, I, just, I couldn't deal with it at first. I really couldn't. It was hard for me, really hard. Mercy Medical Center nephrologist Dr. Robert Greenwell says chronic kidney disease is on the rise, but why? Probably because the main contributors to the chronic kidney disease, both uh, diabetes as well as hypertension, are um, increasing in the population that we take care of. And Dr. Greenwell says, like Paulette, diabetics are at a higher risk for chronic kidney disease. Diabetic patients far and away are, is the highest risk for um, kidney disease. About three in 10 patients with diabetes will develop kidney issues. And once kidney issues develop, uh, almost every one of those patients will progress to need uh, dialysis or transplant over just a few years. Mercy Medical Center dietitian and diabetes educator Allison Massey says diabetics need to manage their disease and take it seriously. Eating a healthy diet, staying active, really managing blood pressure is also key, so they need to work on uh, their, with their physician on that piece of it, and then taking their medications as prescribed, monitoring blood sugars. Keep it simple. I always tell people, you know, 50% of your plate should be based on healthy vegetables. You know, vegetables are very low in carbohydrates, high in nutrients. That's a very basic, simple place to start. Advice Paulette is following oh, with good problem. results. Much better now. You know, I, I feel more better about myself, you know. I'm going out doing more things than I was doing and I enjoy life.